Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, good morning, everybody. So, um, first, I would like to thank the organis the organize committee of this uh, meeting for inviting me. So, uh, my name is uh, Marc Boquet, and uh, for Ex Marseille University, and um, I'm going to talk about uh, in-memory computing for hardware accelerator for embedded um, I, uh, AI and more specifically, binary neural network. Uh, this work uh, has been carried out as part of collaboration between the CELAT of Grenoble and the C2N laboratory of Paris-Saclay University. Uh, this uh, project is grounded by INR Neuronic and the U European project uh, storage. So, um, deep neural network is uh, uh, present show uh, a very high performance and uh, has a lot of, uh, as more and more used for task of uh, recognition of images, uh, classification, etc., etc. But as um, already said uh, yesterday, uh, the main issue is the energy consumption. Uh, indeed, uh, um, this uh, algorithm require uh, important memory access. Uh, it, it is necessary to access to the data to be processed, but also the synaptic weight. And uh, as emphasized by a lot of publication on the conventional architecture, non uh, von Neumann architecture, the energy needed to achieve um, uh, a memory access is very important, especially compared to a, a classical operation, multiplication, or addition. So, um, to one way to reduce this uh, energy loss is to uh, perform the calculation directly in the non-volatile memory. Our approach is to not move the synaptic weight of the non-volatile memory, to limit this uh, data transfer for the edge computing application. So, uh, I'm sorry, but I would like to make this little reminder. So, what is a neural network? Uh, it is, uh, there are input neurons connected to output neurons uh, through the weights, the synapse, sorry. And each synapse has weight. So, the main, the main um, operation is the multiplication between the input neuron and the synaptic weight, accumulation and nonlinear function for activation of the um, output neuron. So, uh, in your approach, the synaptic weight are stored in the non-volatile memory. Of course, we, we can use the classical charge storage memory, flash nor, flash non, e square prom, etc. But these technologies present a high operating voltage and have a compatibility complex with the CMOS process. Another way is to use a new novel time memory technology, such as a PCM, MRAM, resistive RAM, ferroelectric RAM, etc., etc., which have operating uh, voltage and process compatible with the CMOS core. Um, in this, uh, in this, uh, this work, look at a resistive RAM, because it is an interesting technology, fast, with a high, res high retention time, high endurance. The, the memory uh, effect is based on the creation or destruction of the conductive filament. We modify the, um, the resistance of the devices. We have two levels, low resistive state and high resistive state. But the, the main challenge of this uh, resistive RAM technology is the high variability, especially the high variability of the high resistive state. So, to implement the neural, the neural network in hardware, um, the, 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 the most uh, seductive approach is to, um, is to, is to implement the um, neuromorphic accelerator based on the Kirchhoff law. Uh, in fact, uh, the um, multiplication 
uh, can be performed with the uh, Ohm law, and the accumulation is uh, Kirchhoff um, current law. Oh, okay, but in this approach, um, uh, a, a analog digital converter is required for each source line, and uh, this um, circuit is large with the high um, with the high uh, energy consumption. So it is not the, the, the best way for embedded application. So it's not, uh, it's not the, the, the good idea. So um, in a classical neural network, all manipulated value uh, can be encoded in to, uh, to float, but uh, it is possible to perform a quantification uh, by encode uh, in this, uh, this uh, manipulated value uh, in uh, integer, for example. Um, the ultimate quantification is to use just two levels, minus one and one. It is a, a major breakthrough proposed by Joshua Bento Group. It is a binary neural network. The binary neural network I show um, um, performances quite, quite comparable with the conventional neural network. And for hardware implementation, the minus one can be replaced by zero. One of the main advantages of this uh, approach of the binary neural network is the simplicity of the logical operation. The multiplication uh, becomes a, a simpler uh, XNOR gate. Accumulation is pop point, and nonlinear function is a sine function. It promise a, 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 a simpler circuit. So, our approach for neuromorphic accelerator. We use a binary neural network for minimize the logical operation. We use the resistive RAM based synapse associated with the differential structure to increase the robustness against the resistive RAM, resistive RAM viability. So, um, the differential approach consists in using two resistive, uh, two uh, memory devices to uh, code just to store just one bit. Uh, in this approach, uh, in this approach, uh, the two memory devices are programming in complementary uh, level, in a low resistive state, for example, and in high resistive state. This uh, this configuration is also called. 2T2R uh, configuration, 2T2R structure. Um, moreover, uh, with the um, differential architecture, it's possible to use this uh, reading circuit, this sense amplifier. This sense amplifier is very fast and presents a very low um, energy uh, consumption. It's especially adapted for embedded application. Moreover, it's possible to, uh, to perform the XNOR operation directly during the reading operation by just add four transistors. So it's very, it's very practical. So to evaluate our approach, a circuit has been uh, designed and manufactured. Uh, it uh, integrates uh, a, uh, a memory array, a 2T2R memory array with one kilo bit, so two kilo devices, and the, uh, the differential reading circuit, the differential sense amplifier. It is uh, manufactured through uh, MPW shuffle managed by CMP. It's based on one uh, 130 nanometer CMOS logic process, and the resistive memory is the HFO2 based OXRAM. Uh, integrated in the backend of line. It's okay. So uh, the viability is a problem of the resistive RAM technology. Uh, for example, um, in the case of the very weak programming condition, we can measure the resistance distribution for the low, so for the high resistive state, and for the low resistive state. If we use just one device to store one bit, it's 
it's necessary to put a, a, a reference and all device given this resistance generate an error. It is the same way for these devices. Um, but in the case of the 2T2R approach, uh, the error occurs when, the, when the, the, two, the, the two programming operations are failed. So statistically, it's much less likely uh, and experimentally uh, than uh, what we observed. Of course, if you use a, a strong programming condition, the bit error rate decreases. Uh, the bit error rate of the 1T1R configuration, but also the 2T2R configuration. But the, for the weak programming condition, the, the energy needed to program the devices is very low, and it's allowed to, to achieve a, a extraordinary endurance, extraordinary endurance, which allows to perform the learn on the chip. So, 2T2R approach significantly reduces the bit error rate. But uh, how does the binary neural network support this uh, error? Um, for, prop um, for this purpose, we, we use uh, a simple task, uh, MNIST task, which consists to, um, to, to, to recognize uh, um, a minus uh, the um, as a manuscript uh, digit uh, with a fully connected neural network. And we inject uh, randomly error in the synaptic weight during the inference. This figure represents the accuracy on the test set as a function of the bit error rate. And we observe that is, um, uh, the, the, um, it's necessary to uh, to, to, um, to, to have a, a bit error rate greater than 1% to observe the, the accuracy significantly decrease. For a more complex tasks, for a CIFAR 10 uh, 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 task, which consists to recognize a, a, a color images, we've, uh, we've used a, a conventional neural network. We observe the same thing, uh, the neural network are always resilient to error. Moreover, it's possible to improve the, the resilient to error by uh, in, induce uh, adapted, adapted training. If you induce a bit error rate during the training process, we inject randomly uh, uh, error in the synaptic weight during the training we improve the uh, resilience of the, uh, the, the bit error rate. Uh, as you, as you, we can observe in the MNIST task uh, an, an optimum when the bit error rate using during the training is similar with the bit error rate uh, observed during the, the inference. For more complex tasks like C410, there, there is not an optimum, but the test recognition is improved. So bin binary neural network uh, present a simpler implementation, are resilient to error. Moreover, 2T2R configuration decreases the bit error rate compared to the 1T1R configuration which allow to address a, a low energy consumption and a, a high endurance, which allow to perform the learn on chip. So let's talk about onboard learning. During learning, uh, it is not the, uh, the, um, the binary weight they are directly modified. It is a, a, a real weight. This, uh, the, the binary weight is a sign of the real weight. In the case of the differential structure, this, uh, this, uh, this real weight is the ratio between the, uh, this resistance and this resistance. So it is very practi practical. If I want to increase the, the weight, I increase this resistance. And if I want to decrease this uh, weight, I'm 
decrease this resistance. You notice? I just say increase the resistance. Of course, the set operation to decrease the resistance is very, uh, it's not progressive, uh, 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 not progressive operation. It's very brutal. Uh, it needs to, to, to control by this transistor. On the other hand, the reset operation, uh, it's more progressive. Uh, it's possible to apply a, a, a same pulse to increase progressively the resistance. Okay, it's, it's very practical, but um, uh, it is possible to learn with this uh, a, a resistance evolution. It is possible to learn with this uh, device to device, cycle to cycle viability. Uh, it's not obvious. Uh, so in these two papers, the resistance evolution, the device to device, the cycle to cycle is taken into account, is model, and inject in the um, PyTorch uh, framework. And we observe the network, the binary neural network, learn. Yes, it's not at the level of the, the network with the, the perfect, the ideal devices, but the network learn. It's, 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 it's good. So um, what's the whole well and good? Uh, but uh, some, someone can be, uh, uh, must be disappointed because I'm stored just one bit in two devices. So, um, uh, can, can you do better? Uh, yes, 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 we can. Uh, uh, of course, this, this, uh, this um, sense amplifier, it's, it's very fast, okay. But it's very fast when the, these two devices have a, a different, a more different dif uh, resistance in, in a high resistive state, the other in the low resistive state. But if the both devices is, are in a high resistive state, the reading, is, the, the read oper the reading operation is, is slower. So by exploiting this reading time, it's possible to have the uh, first uh, state for free. So uh, we have the minus one, one, and zero, it is a, a gated XNOR. And the binary neural network became the ternary neural network. And the ternary neural network can increase accuracy, especially for the more complex task, compared to the, the binary neural network. So, to sum up, Binary neural network allow to 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 uh, uh, allow to to to, to yeah. give a give a network with a very simple logical operation. It is uh, resilient to error, and it, it's possible to improve this resilience by adapted training. Moreover. 2 t 2 r configuration decreases the bit error rate in comparison with the 1 t one r configuration, which allow low energy uh, with the high endurance. Moreover, 2 t 2 r configuration allow on-chip learn, on learning and uh, give uh, for free a, a first state, and we transform the binary neural network in the ternary neural network which present a better accuracy, especially for complex tasks. So, thank you for your attention. <laughs>